guys, it's Megan, welcome back. So today I am doing something a little out of my comfort zone, doing a get ready with me using Dollar Tree makeup that I haven't tried yet. Actually, there are a couple of Dollar Tree makeup items that I use on the regular, so I'm going to throw those in there as well because I already know that I like them. I'm gonna try and achieve like a neutral look that can go with a lot of different outfits. Obviously, I am not a beauty guru. I was a little hesitant about doing this because I'm like, oh, this is so out of my comfort zone, but you've gotta do things that are out of your comfort zone sometimes and if these products work you guys know I love Dollar Tree so I want to be able to let you guys know if they work and hopefully we can all score from this basically I'm gonna go ahead and do my makeup the way that I normally do it and just like insert the Dollar Tree items where I would use whatever else I was using the main things that I wanted to test out were some of the eyeshadow palettes I have four different ones I have this LA Colors one, this LA Colors one. I also have this LA Colors one. And then I have this Color Mates one. This is the one that I think I've tried before. I don't know if I'm necessarily going to try this one today. I basically wanted to do like browns. So that's why I have all those other ones. The other things I wanted to give a shot was this mascara for my lower lashes. I do have eyelash extensions right now on my top lashes, so I just wanted to try that mascara out on my bottom lashes. I also wanted to try out this contour powder, basically just the dark one. I wasn't really as interested in that one, but I wanted to try this out for contour. I will give a little spoiler alert. I use this LA Colors brow, the brow tint all the time. I really like it. It's a little dark. Uh, I have the dark blonde, but I really like it a lot. Another spoiler alert is I use this Color Mates blush quite often. This is the Sun Kissed Tan. I like it, I think it's pretty. I also got a couple lipsticks by LA Colors. I got this one in Dusty Rose, and I got this one in Satin. I wasn't too like amazed. I thought I could maybe mix these two together. I wasn't too blown away by the lipstick options, and I also got this uh, LA Colors little lip gloss to put on top of it. I need a headband. Okay, I'm going to put this mirror here so I can actually like see myself. I always start with doing my uh, eyes first. So I start with just a concealer over top of my eyes to just kind of put a base down. This is not a tutorial, this is just showing how I do my makeup and how I'm trying out this makeup. I am not a beauty guru. I also take a little bit of powder and just put it over the top of it just lightly just to kind of set it before I go in with eyeshadow. So this palette by the LA Colors is called BEP 423 Trendy. I think I want to try this eyeshadow palette first, nude one. I'm going to first go in with this color and kind of see how the color even lays down. Okay, I am not mad about the color payoff for that. I mean, it's not the best, but it's not the worst. Now I'm going to try this little darker bit of a brown color. This is definitely looking a little more warm toned. I wanna to take a smaller brush and go back into the same brown color that I was just in. I wanna take that same brown and take a flat brush and put it on top of my lid. I'm going to take a clean brush and just kind of blend this out a little bit more. I'm 
going to take this light shade right here and see if it does anything in my brow bone area. It's not bad. Just for fun, I want to add in a little bit of this like pinky brown color and just give it, see if it'll give it a little bit of different dimension. So I'm going to go in with this smaller brush again and just kind of go right into the crease and down in the corner. You can see that showing up a little bit. Yeah, you really can. That would be a pretty color on its own too, I think. I'm gonna take my fingertips into this light color and just see that looks like right in the middle. If it even shows up. Mm, little bit. This color is really pretty right here, and this uh, Orchid is the name of this LA Colors one. So I'm gonna pop that in and see. Mm. I'm gonna try taking a brush and wetting it. So that color comes off very different looking. It definitely doesn't shimmer and it has no real shimmer to it once you get past the overlay of it. It's that color right there. So it's kind of mm, not the prettiest color I've ever seen. That matte one though, that's what I really got it for, but that looks super chalky. It's not even showing up on my hand really. I would say this one is a total dud for me. I don't think I will reach for that one anymore. Before I do the rest of my face makeup, I'm going to go ahead and do my brows with the LA Colors Brow Tint. Like I said, I do like this one. I naturally have pretty good brows, like I don't need a ton of help. So if you're someone that wants like to really be able to fill it in, I'm not sure how well this would work. But just to darken it up and fill it in, I like the way this works for me. Okay, it's interesting because I've been using this brow product for like probably a month off and on. And I've never before noticed until now, like it leaves some little black flakes, but it seems to be brushing off easily. So this brow tint may not be your thing. I think for a dollar, if you're curious, go ahead and try it out and see if it is your thing. See if you like it. Sometimes I mix this with another brown brow thing and kind of combine them together. So I'm up in the air about this. I mean, I do use it all the time though. So I will say it's not the worst thing. Okay, I'm curious about this contour. This is in the color medium. They had like deep, they had a fair, they had a few different of these contour ones. So, Feels very chalky. Mm. It's actually not bad. I'm not mad at this. Beauty blender and blend the edges a little bit, but overall, I don't think that's bad. 
I would use that one again. I want to take that brown color that I used up there and do that in my on my lower lashes, on my lower lash line. I think that looks good down there. I'll be curious if it stays. I'm happy with that. Now I'm going to take this Sinful Colors Stop and Stare Gel Eyeliner in this deep purple color just for a little fun pop of color. Okay, that is making my eyes water so bad. This, that is rough, that is rough. Okay, that's a pass for me, that's a fail. Maybe this will look pretty on your upper lashes, upper lash line, but it's not good for the waterline, at least not for me. It hurts down there, it's not creamy. It feels creamier going on your hand than it definitely does in your lash line. Not a fan, no thank you, pass. I want to take some of this LA Colors, this little mascara, and go ahead and try that on my lower lashes. The one's a little bit bigger than I thought it was going to be, so this could be a disaster. so pretty yeah that's not bad I would use that again what else have I not used okay so I'm going to use a little bit of this sun kissed blush this blush is pretty pigmented so you want to go in with a light hand but it does seem to blend out pretty well I like to go over top of it just a little bit tone it down just a smidge Before we go into the lips, I'm just going to add a little bit of highlight. I don't have any Dollar Tree highlighters. I'm just going to use my Wet n Wild highlight that I use all the time, whatever color this is. I think it's like petals or something, and uh, I'm a fan of it. My idea was to go in with the pink and top it with this color, and I thought that that would be like a pretty combination. Sure. I would say it's kind of patchy, and it seems to be accentuating some dry patches on my lips. But let's just see what this color, what is this satin, looks like. Yeah, I do not like this lipstick. Look, can you see that? And this, that just accentuated, like, I'm not a fan of the way this lipstick looks. So I won't, I just think it like, it's patchy, it's catching on weird areas. Not, not my thing. But I do want to try and see what this gloss feels like over it. I mean, it's not the worst. Like I think if you're in a pinch and you need a lipstick, this could work. But for me, I'd rather spend like six or seven bucks on a Maybelline one or something like that. And it'd be a lot better. says it's a moisturizing formula. I honestly don't think the gloss is bad. I will probably actually reuse that gloss. It's soft, soft, it's not sticky. It's, it actually makes me like the lipstick a little bit more. So I think the eyes actually came out really pretty. I used only two of the palettes for two bucks to get this eye look. I think is a really great deal. I mean, you could totally make it work. It's not obviously the best quality shadows, but I think it did a good job. I will definitely reach when I want some of these brown tones that I don't already have. Um, I will reach for this again. I'm definitely going to reuse this nudes one and I didn't, I'm going to play with this one a little bit more. I definitely am going to get rid of this one 
and that eyeliner I will not be using anymore. I highly recommend the blushes if you need some blush on a budget. I think they don't have a lot of selection of colors, but I do think that these, the Sunkissed one and the Mauve, it's like Mauve something, um, are good options. I would like to play around with this one a little bit more. Obviously, I can put all the colors on my face and try everything, but I hope you guys enjoyed getting ready with me and trying out some of this Dollar Tree makeup and seeing how it looks on me and applies. I will check in in a few hours and see if it's like still looks somewhat good and, or if it's all kind of like faded off. We'll see. It is hours later now and I'm about to wash my face because I'm tired and I'm ready to get ready for bed. But I just want to do a quick little check-in before I went to bed and say that I am really pleased with the eye makeup. I think it stayed on really, really well. I will definitely be using this eye makeup again. I think that probably using the concealer down first helped it stick like using it as a primer. I'm also really happy with the bronzer. I think that if you know for a dollar, I think the bronzer worked well and the blush, I mean you can still see the blush a little bit. The lighting in here isn't the best I'm in my bathroom. So that lip color I was not a fan of and nor was I a fan of like the texture of it. I just it wasn't good for me. The mascara for the bottom lashes I feel like kind of faded off a little bit so but for a dollar and it's just my bottom lashes, I will probably use that again because it didn't look like it's smudged or flaked or anything like that. It just kind of just like faded a bit. Overall, I'm pretty happy with the Dollar Tree makeup that I tested today. I hope you guys enjoyed checking out this video. Let me know in the comments below if you've tried any Dollar Tree makeup and if you have, what is your favorite makeup from Dollar Tree? But that is everything for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did. And if you're new, I would love to have you subscribe. Now I'm going to wash my face get in some PJs, and call it a night. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.